In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be to you, dear friends. Whatever happened in our life is for good. And whatever happening right now is for good. And whatever will happen in our life in coming days is for good. And whatever is in my hand right now was belongs to someone yesterday. And whatever is in my hand right now will be someone else's tomorrow. And whatever I lost today was not created by me. What I am trying to say is, my brothers and sisters, there is nothing to gain, nothing to lose. Everything is the free gift of Almighty God. Isn't it true? I repeat once again, whatever is in my hand today was someone else's yesterday and whatever is in my hand today will be someone else's tomorrow. And whatever happened in my life was for good and what is happening for good and what will happen is for good. So nothing to worry because everything is the gift from Almighty God. If you're not understanding what I'm saying, I want to ask you to read the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verses 3. I repeat Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verses 3. It says like this, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When I heard this word from Bible first time, I was really curious and surprised to see how Jesus speaks. You know why? He says, blessed are the poor in spirit. So, blessed are those who have no spirituality at all. You know what's the meaning of poverty? The one who doesn't have anything. Financially poor means no money with him. Health, poor health means no health with him. And spiritually poor means no spirituality with him or with her. Jesus said, blessed are those who are spiritually poor. Theirs is the kingdom of God. And who are the spiritually poor? The one who doesn't, have, who doesn't go to church. The one who doesn't attend holy mass. The one who doesn't go for confession. The one who doesn't have any spirituality is spiritually poor. And Jesus says the kingdom of God belongs to him. Why he said that? Jesus would now say, blessed are those who are spiritually rich. Those who have all spirituality, the kingdom of God belongs to them. But he says, blessed are those who are spiritually poor. The one who doesn't have any spirituality at all, the kingdom of God belongs to him. I used to think, why Jesus said this? Then later on, I understood, you can understand the gospel only by the letters of St. Paul. I mean, uh, the all four Gospels are the lock and you need the key to open this lock. And the key belongs to uh, the Saint Paul. I mean, in his letter, you will get some idea to open the Gospel. Now let me get a key for you here. That is from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. I repeat, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? It's a really pricking question asked by Almighty God through St. Paul. My brother, can you boast about anything saying that I have a health, I have a house, I have a car, I have a banglo, I have bank balance? No. Everything is free gift from Almighty God for some time. Now, I am very egoistic and proud to say that I am healthy. But any moment, anything can happen for my health. And I say I have a big bungalow. An earthquake can happen any moment. So whatever is in my hand is the free gift from Almighty God. And parallelly to this, I want you to read Galatians chapter 6, verses 3. I repeat, Galatians chapter 6, verses 3, we read, For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Wow, such a lovely and meaningful. If anyone thinks that I am something, when he is nothing, he is deceiving himself. Many times we have this problem because we think that we are intellectual, we are educated, we are smart, we are talented, and we are healthy, we are wealthy, we are powerful, we have positions. But remember, anything can lose any moment. 
everything is free gift from almighty god and all those who have this understanding they are spiritually poor because they don't have nothing to gain they don't have anything to lose whatever they are is the will of god and the blessing of god and they give thanks to the lord why do brother mario says all these things right now is just because today is ash wednesday when you are in the church the priest anoints you with ash and he makes a sign of the cross on your forehead saying that you are from dust and you will return to the dust understand this fact everything is free gift from the lord you will be peaceful always because you don't have anything to grab you don't have anything to lose you will be at ease at peace all the time you know what happened if you really understood the meaning of this ash wednesday there is no worry there is no tension there is no anxiety there is no depression every unwanted things eliminated or destroyed in your brain the moment you understand that i am child of god everything is free gift from him i still remember immediately after my marriage when i was in a rental house with my wife father george panakil the director of divine retreat center came to bless the house you know what he said he said in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit heavenly father we thank you for all the blessings and thank you for this rental house because our body also is rental any time we have to leave this body and go to the original house called heaven wow such a lovely thing when i was having a rental house i was murmuring i was complaining saying that father i have only rental house please pray that i will get an apartment or a house he said your body itself is a rental i want all of my friends to keep this memory you know we are on a rental house in this body even so nothing is permanent nothing our own no need to strain and struggle to grab many things you are destined to leave everything and go to your own house and we we are eagerly waiting and we are preparing ourselves next 40 days to receive the blessing from almighty god May Almighty God bless you and peace be with you.